Sunday. Fungi. <laughs> really? Fungi, a fascinating kingdom of organisms, play an indispensable role in our ecosystems and daily lives. These enigmatic entities often escape our notice, yet they form a complex web of relationships that underpin much of the natural world. Today we'll delve into the biology of fungi, elucidating key concepts such as fungi, mushrooms, fruit bodies, mycorrhizae, mycelium, and hyphae, and highlighting the world's largest organism. Fungi constitute a kingdom of eukaryotic organisms that are distinct from plants, animals, and bacteria. They encompass a vast diversity of species including yeasts, molds, and mushrooms. Unlike plants, fungi do not perform photosynthesis, instead, they obtain nutrients through absorption, often by decomposing organic matter. This heterotrophic mode of nutrition places them as crucial decomposers in ecosystems, recycling nutrients and fostering soil health. Fungi can exist in various forms, unicellular, like yeasts, or multicellular, like molds and mushrooms. Their cell walls are primarily composed of chitin, a strong and flexible carbohydrate also found in the exoskeletons of arthropods. When people think of fungi, the image that often comes to mind is that of a mushroom. However, a mushroom is merely the fruit body of a fungus, the reproductive structure that emerges from the larger fungal organism, typically hidden from view. The term fruit body refers to the spore-producing structure of fungi, designed for reproduction and spore dispersal. In the case of mushrooms, the fruit body is the visible part that we commonly recognize. It arises from the mycelium and carries the reproductive spores. These spores, dispersed by wind, water or animals, can germinate into new fungal organisms when they land in suitable environments. Fruit bodies vary significantly in shape, size and color across different fungal species. One of the most remarkable aspects of fungi is their ability to form mycorrhizae, symbiotic associations with plant roots. The term mycorrhiza, plural mycorrhizae, is derived from Greek, meaning fungus root. This symbiosis is vital for the health and growth of most terrestrial plants. In mycorrhizal relationships, the fungal mycelium extends the root system of the plant, significantly increasing its ability to absorb water and essential nutrients, particularly phosphorus. In return, the plant supplies the fungus with carbohydrates produced through photosynthesis. There are two main types of mycorrhizae, ectomycorrhizae, where the fungus envelops the root in a sheath, and arbuscular mycorrhizae, where the fungus penetrates the root cells. The mycelium is the vegetative part of a fungus, consisting of a network of fine, thread-like structures called hyphae. Often hidden within soil, wood, or other substrates, mycelium represents the main body of the fungus. It plays a critical role in nutrient absorption and decomposition of organic matter. Mycelium can spread over vast areas, forming an extensive network that interconnects different plants and trees in a forest, sometimes referred to as the wood wide web. This network facilitates nutrient exchange and communication between plants, enhancing their resilience to environmental stresses. Hyphae are the basic structural units of a fungus, microscopic threads that collectively form the mycelium. Each hypha is a tubular cell surrounded by a chitinous cell wall, with cytoplasm flowing through it. Hyphae grow at their tips, branching and fusing to form a dense network that infiltrates the substrate. The structure and function of hyphae are essential for the fungal life cycle. They release enzymes that break down complex organic compounds into simpler molecules, which the fungus can absorb. Hyphae also play a critical role in the reproductive process, as they can form specialized structures like spores and fruit bodies. Among the many fascinating aspects of fungi is the existence of the world's largest organism, which might surprise those unfamiliar with fungal biology. The title belongs to a particular fungus, also known as the honey fungus. This colossal organism resides in the Malheur National Forest in eastern Oregon, USA and is a species of pathogenic fungus known for causing root rot in forests, leading to the decline and death of trees. However, its claim to fame is its astounding size and age. The fungus primarily grows underground, spreading through a vast network of mycelium, the thread-like structures that compose its main body. The mycelium of in the Malheur National Forest covers an estimated 2,385 acres, that's 965 hectares, and is believed to be over 2,400 years old. Some estimates suggest it could be as old as 8,650 years. 
This immense network of mycelium spreads through the soil, infiltrating the root systems of trees and other vegetation, drawing nutrients from them, and in the process, slowly killing its host plants. To put its size into perspective, this single organism spans an area equivalent to over 1,665 football fields, making it the largest known living organism by area. The enormity of the organism was first recognized in the late 1990s when scientists noticed a significant die-off of trees in the Malheur National Forest. Upon further investigation they discovered that the same genetic individual of was responsible for the widespread root rot. Genetic testing and analysis of the mycelium confirmed that the fungus spread over such a vast area was indeed a single organism. While it might appear detrimental due to its pathogenic nature, it also plays a critical role in forest ecosystems. By decomposing dead and dying trees, it recycles essential nutrients back into the soil, promoting new growth. This cyclical process is a natural part of forest ecology, contributing to the long-term health and diversity of forested areas. The honey fungus occasionally produces fruit bodies that emerge above ground, especially in the form of yellow-brown mushrooms. These fruit bodies are commonly seen in clusters at the base of infected trees or stumps, typically appearing in the fall. The mushrooms have a slightly honeyed scent, hence the name honey fungus. For humans, different species have mixed implications. On one hand, they are notorious for causing damage to commercial timber and ornamental trees, resulting in economic losses. On the other hand, the mushrooms of some species are edible and collected by foragers in many parts of the world. However, caution is advised as they can be confused with poisonous look-alikes. Fungi play a myriad of ecological roles, essential for ecosystem functioning and human welfare. As decomposers, they break down dead organic material, recycling nutrients and maintaining soil health. Without fungi, dead plant and animal matter would accumulate and nutrient cycling would be severely disrupted. Fungi also form crucial mutualistic relationships, not only with plants through mycorrhizae, but also with insects and other animals. Really? For example, leafcutter ants cultivate fungal gardens, which decompose plant material into edible food for the ant colony. Moreover, fungi have significant economic importance. Edible mushrooms like Agaricus bisporus, shiitake, lentinula idotis, and chanterelles, Cantharellus sibarius, are highly valued in culinary traditions worldwide. Fungi are also pivotal in biotechnology and medicine. For instance, the antibiotic penicillin derived from the penicillium fungus revolutionized medicine by providing a powerful tool against bacterial infections. Other fungal products like cyclosporin are crucial in organ transplantation by preventing rejection. In agriculture, fungi can be both beneficial and harmful. Mycorrhizal fungi enhance crop yields by improving nutrient uptake, while pathogenic fungi can devastate crops as seen with rusts, smuts, and molds. Therefore, understanding and managing fungal relationships is vital for sustainable agriculture. Fungi have permeated human culture, inspiring myths, folklore, and art. Many cultures revere mushrooms for their culinary and medicinal properties, and some even for their psychoactive effects. The iconic fly agaric, Amanita muscaria, with its bright red cap and white spots, is a prominent symbol in various cultural depictions, often associated with magic and otherworldly experiences. In contemporary science and industry, fungi continue to be a source of innovation. The field of mycology, the study of fungi, is expanding our understanding of their biology and potential applications. For instance, fungal enzymes are utilized in various industrial processes including biofuel production, food processing, and bioremediation. Furthermore, fungi are being explored as sustainable materials for the future. Mycelium-based products offer eco-friendly alternatives to conventional materials like plastic and styrofoam. Mycelium can be cultivated into various forms, providing insulation and packaging. 